Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video and the following few videos actually, we're going to look at ERGRP configuration. As a quick backstory, I've done a live study session about EIGRP recently, but that went on for like two hours. So I wanted to cover the same topics in shorter videos. Let me pull up my notepad quickly. So here's what we've covered during that live study session up the top here. In this video, we'll focus on classic and named mode. We'll do basic EIGRP configuration using both methods. So we'll do classic mode on R1 and named mode on R2. If I go back to the topology, here's the scenario. The information might not be fully accurate because this is actually my EVNG OSPF test lab. So for example, the router IDs are not configured, nor will they be. In fact, there's no EIGRP configuration at the moment. The IP subnet is correct. So 192.168.255.0/24. I can actually show you that because I verified the IP addressing and then pinged R2 from R1 and it's successful. So they have connectivity. And I can actually show you there's no EIGRP configuration. I have this handy command here precisely for that purpose. So there's nothing at the moment. I'll also demonstrate how to use Cisco documentation to find configuration examples. So let's go back to the browser. I have it open on another tab here if I can find it. Uh, no, this is the master command syntax, this one. So this is the main page or the book title page that includes the table of content for each sub document. So we're going to look at the first one. So you can see there's a lot of sections here. I have that open in another tab and I've scrolled down towards the bottom of the page where you can find the configuration examples. So here you can actually see both examples. So first enabling EIGRP autonomous system configuration. This is the classic mode and under here enabling EIGRP named configuration. So this is of course EIGRP named mode. Okay, let's look at classic mode first. We'll go back to notepad. So the configuration is quite simple. Router EIGRP and here you actually specify the autonomous system number. We'll use 12. And then underneath network command and then the network 255.0. And here I'm going to leave out the wildcard mask because this is a classful network. There are other ways I could have chosen to enable EIGRP. I could have used the interface address specifically with the quad zero wildcard mask, but we'll do it this way. So let's just go ahead and copy this and we'll go on R1 under the configuration mode, paste it here. Voila, EIGRP is enabled. We can exit out and then go, then let's go back to the configuration guide. Now, before I go into the EIGRP name mode configuration, a quick note here, the EIGRP classic mode and the EIGRP named mode are not different versions of EIGRP. They are simply different ways of configuring EIGRP. So the EIGRP configuration is structured a little bit differently depending on whether EIGRP classic mode or EIGRP named mode is used. EIGRP named mode is maybe more clear and consistent because all configuration goes under the EIGRP instance. Under the EIGRP instance, you have different sections for the configuration, like here, the address family configuration. Whereas with the EIGRP classic mode, the configuration is a little bit all over the place. Some EIGRP configuration is under the EIGRP process and some EIGRP configuration can be under the interface and so on. 
So with that in mind, let's use this as reference. So let's go back to notepad. So named mode, router, EIGRP. And notice here, this is the instance name now. You could use a creative name here. The first word that comes to my mind is venom for some reason. A very dark themed word, by the way, but I guess it goes with the whole notepad look as well. Anyway, then we enter the address family configuration. So address family and IPv4 unicast autonomous system number. And here's a key point. So with EIGRP classic mode, the autonomous system number is configured here with the router EIGRP command, but with the named mode is configured on the address family command right here after autonomous system. So these two values have to match between the routers for them to become EIGRP neighbors. And then under here, we finally enable EIGRP with the network command. 192.168.255, 0, and I'll just include the wildcard mask here for whatever reason, just because. This might actually be removed from the configuration when we look at it, because again, this is a classful network, but we'll find out. So let's copy this. Uh, but before I paste it, let me go back to the master command syntax. Was it this one? I'll just show you the router EIGRP command syntax quickly. So here you can see router EIGRP, and then it takes either the autonomous system number with classic mode or the virtual instance name with the named mode. And notice here that the autonomous system number is a number in the range of 1 to 65, 535. So that's basically a 16 bit or a two byte number. Okay, then we can go on R2. It's timed out, so let's bring it back up. Then go under the configuration mode and paste the configuration here. Like that, and the EIGRP neighborship should come up. Indeed, there it is. We already get this log message. So we can verify show IP EIGRP neighbor. And I mistyped it like that. And let's just check on the other side as well. <laughs> and I copied the uh, wrong syntax. Let's try that again. There we go. Now, finally, let's look at the running configuration. So let me get this command from here. Go back to R1, see what we have here. Very simple configuration, only the router EIGRP command and then the network command. Now let's do the same on R2. So as I suspected, that, that wildcard mask was removed. So you see it's only network 192.168.255.0. And that's how you configure EIGRP in classic and named mode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.